When we're ready to add parts to our speaker, you want to take a look at the lip of the cup. So find the part that's the thickest, that will be the heaviest side. That's the side you want pointing down. You want that on the bottom of the project, otherwise you'll have issues with gravity and things will want to cave in. Also, when you add your parts, you don't want to make it too top heavy. If you add too many things right here, this edge is gonna cave in. So when you're making your parts, options for creating them, whatever they may be. You could take them and shape them by hand, you know, take it and roll things up to make eyeballs. If you want eyes to have sections that are caved in, we can use tools and kind of twist them around to make an eye. You can add texture with your clay, to your clay. Got a box full of tools and we could take the tools and kind of run them across your clay and that creates texture on it. You just press things in or roll them across. Other things you could do, if you wanted it to have tentacles or something, take your clay and roll a coil. It's better to roll it on the table instead of rolling it on the cloth. So hands together then apart and you can roll yourself coils to make little tentacles if you wanted any for your project. Other things you could do, you could take your clay smash it down a little bit and use it to cut parts like if you wanted it to have a crown and you wanted it to be a flat crown and not round. <laughs> so the loop tools, especially the really thin loop tools are really good for slicing up parts. And especially things like this, if it has really rough edges, we take a sponge that's wet get it wet at the sink and squeeze it out at the sink. And you can use that to smooth out your pieces. And while you're working, don't forget that carving is also an option to decorate. So draw where you want to carve, and then take the tool and just gently push down and you should see clay falling away. And you can always smooth it out with a sponge. Now that I have all of my parts, I'm going to attach them using the score and slip method. So you'll have this bucket full of wonderful, ever so gooey clay. You're going to dip a toothbrush in there because this will do the scoring. Scoring means you're roughing up the surface of the clay and giving things something to stick to. So I'm going to score where I want this to go and make sure I got a little slip on there and score the thing that's getting attached and then you press them firmly together and try to wipe away any excess that you don't need. You can use a sponge, or if you can't get in there at the sponge, you can use a loop tool. So now I have an eye on my guy. And repeat that for any parts that you're going to add to your creature. And please remember when you're adding your parts to your monster, you can't put anything in this back section, like the last inch and a half between the base and the front. You can't put anything there when you attach parts because once all your parts are on your beautiful creature, then you might need some help with this. I'm gonna draw a line. It's going to be where the phone will go. It's okay to start small because we can always make it bigger. Starting too big and making it smaller is a little difficult. And once we have that on there, then we will carefully slice it out. And as I said, if you need help, then check with me and I will help you. Once you do your slicing, that area is going to be pretty rough. So you want to take a squirt bottle and get it pretty wet and then use your finger to kind of smooth things over because anything that is rough now will slice you after firing. 